Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into this video. The Evo, last Evocati, forget the prisoner mentioned here the, from the work mines, but, and so, I'm not gonna lie, this presentation is gonna be a lot of Moby Glass. It's not super flashy, but focus on what the tools will allow you to do and their impact. But for this, I need some help myself, so I'm gonna make a party. And to get, I'm going to get some developers to help. So let me first invite our senior systems designer, Gabriel Hector. <laughs> Hello, CitizenCon. Hope you're doing all right. And Ben, you forgot to cover the Swedish before in your earlier introduction. So, Shana. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> all right. We need some more. Let's invite assistant design director. JJ to the stage. My spot's quite far away. Yeah, yeah no, no, you walk it up. <laughs> walk up. <laughs> okay, so social universe began, begins with your friends. That's your closest group. It's the first go-to when you want to play. Our current friend system is dated, and it includes things that are, well, not really friends. So my first question goes off to JJ to kick us off. What are we doing to improve friends and friends management? So we're taking our oldest app in the Moby Glass, the Comlink app, and we're upgrading it to a brand new social app. And this is now going to be your one-stop shop for all of your friends and group gameplay. Now, this is the new and improved friends list. So you'll notice, sadly, one of our oldest friends that we all have is missing, though, and that's ATC. Sadly, our friendship has ended with ATC. What? I'll have no friends at all, then. <laughs> <laughs> so this is now just a dedicated space for your real friends. So you're now going to be able to see what those real friends are doing with richer presence information. So giving you better awareness of where your friends are, what they're doing, or if they're not on when they were last seen. And then you'll also be able to reflect, reflect your own status. So you can let friends know if you're away, don't want to be disturbed, or if you just want to hide offline for a while. Another key upgrade is synchronizing with Spectrum as well. So you'll be able to see friends that are in Spectrum itself, Arena Commander, or just chilling on the launcher. And that also means that you can accept and receive invites to and from Spectrum even while you're offline. And throughout this presentation, any functionality that is shared between the game and the web and the launcher we're aiming to synchronize across all. And speaking of synchronizing, when we have multiple characters, Woo! <laughs> your friends will be shared across all of them too. Nice. So some, some people are real socialites. I know I've seen them. They have a lot of friends. I'm talking multiple pages and pages of friends. What are we doing to help management of huge friends list? Nice humble brag, Ben. Uh, well, in fact, we are giving you the ability to add notes to your friends list so you can remember, hey, this is that cosplayer that I met at CitizenCon 2954. Or maybe it's JJ's super weird username. This is JJ. Also, uh, you can add people to a favorites list, meaning that the people that you interact with most in the game are always going to be shown at the top of your friends list for your convenience. Additionally, we're moving the voice chat into the social app. And, call. well, why? Who are you, <laughs> you going to call? <laughs> That's the question. You're going to call your friends. You're going to call your party. So this is where it should live. Seems to have got a, U, a lot of UEC there as well, Ben. I swear to God, I didn't dupe any cargo. <laughs> this is just my personal allowance. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> all right, so that's all cool for your close buddies, but the one, one thing that always happens when you, when you meet people is that some of them aren't nice. Abusers, pad rammers, active griefers, you know? Currently, we can't do anything about that in the game. What are we doing to help the situation? So in addition to the friends list, we're also now going to have a block list. And we like to think of block people as reverse friends. They're just people that you really don't want to talk to anymore. So what we're trying to do is we're doing something called uh, black holing them from communications. So you can't see them talk, and they can't see you talk anymore. And not only for communications, whenever you see some of these other systems we're about to talk about where you can group up, we're going to make it harder for you to see each other as well. 
Now, we also have a much requested hostiles list for people who have made a real enemy of you as well. The KOS list is finally making its way in. Oh, yeah. Um, you'll also be able to add notes here as well, just so you can remember that person I blocked two years ago. You, you remember why, because you're going to forget. And then for those situations where someone really wants to go the extra mile to be a super mega ass, you can report them to us, and we'll deal with them for you. All right, so now I have my friends list up to date. I can find my friends easily based on rich presence in real time, and I'm ready to go, ready to go on an adventure. But for that, I need a party. The party's at the core of the social experience when you're heading into a mission, meeting with other players, or whether they're a friend or not. Our party system is very bare bones at the moment. It does have some cool features, but what are we planning to improve parties? Yeah, so as you said, it does have some cool features like party launching, the party markers, quantum syncing. It's all good stuff, but let's take a closer look at the new features of the party list. So with server meshing, we are right now at a unique opportunity for us. So we already support large parties, but we want to do this well. <laughs> We have, we have been seeing what you do in the tech previews, and people have been partying up in hundreds. 100 plus people in one ship? Come on. <laughs> and that's all right. We just want to make sure that we're adding better support for this, like search functionality, making it easy to find people in your party. Also, just like we did with the friends list, we're adding rich presence here as well. But for the party, you're going to want more real-time gameplay-related info, like if someone's downed or dead or uh, maybe, maybe offline for some reason. A big thing, though, is the ship and seat breakdown. So you will see. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's worth the cost. <laughs> so you will see all the vehicles that your party members are in, as well as the seat that they are in. This will give you great situational awareness and allows you to coordinate better than ever before. It's essentially a mini fleet manager. OK. Oh. <laughs> so there's going to be more improvements as well. So you're going to be able to control permission for invites. So only your leaders and assistant leaders can actually invite people. So it's no longer an absolute free for all. Uh, and we're adding an absolute MMO staple as well which is the ready check. So as we add more and more challenging group gameplay, you're going to be able to coordinate a lot better. And while we're talking about group play, um, and maybe it's unwanted group play in this case, we're improving the quality of life for our streamers as well. So we'll no longer have a shared playlist. We're going to be obscuring things like your on-screen name and location and so on, just so you're a bit harder to find while you are streaming. And that's the full friends and party tab. Pretty cool. It's a party for the eyes. <laughs> it's a party for the eyes. <laughs> all right, so the new friends and party place is really the one-stop shop to manage all your real-time interactions with other players or access your comms channel. That's cool, but as we navigate the verse, it's always very difficult to find people. We have a single channel. People are blasting, looking for groups. It's a bit awkward. You, find, you never know what you're going to find. With bigger shards, I know I'm the bigger shards guy now, but we're going to have a lot more players in there. There must be a better way. Well, Ben, we have given this some thought. So the second tab in the social app, introducing the party finder. <laughs> so the party finder, it's a dynamic system that's going to make it easy for you to find interesting and engaging gameplay. It's basically player-powered matchmaking. So if you are looking for more players, just go in here, advertise your party, give it an informative name like Ben has done here. Space Combat Fun Times. And you could even uh, set things like a specific contract that you want to play or roles that you're looking to fill. Maybe you need gunners, engineers, pilots. Meat shields. Maybe that. <laughs> uh, you could also limit the number of members. You might uh, want to do some, again, specific content. So you want to do with a set number of members in the party. Or you might want a tight-knit group. That's something that I would like very much. Uh, maybe you just don't want to split the contract rewards, right? So once you have that information, 
then it's time to list your party. And then people are going to be applying to join your group, which is kind of like a reverse invite. You're applying to the party. You're joining yourself. You're getting involved. You're the reverse guy today. <laughs> I'm stuck in one gear. Um, <laughs> so you can then um, request. Uh, the people that are requesting, you can then look at their information, and you decide on whether or not you want to accept or reject them, just so you can tailor your group to the kind of gameplay that you're trying to do. Then, on the other side, finding a party should be easy too. So all of those super cool things that Gabriel just mentioned, so like setting your group name, roles needed, party size, and so on, you're going to be able to use those as filters to find the right group. And this is all purely because we want you to find the kind of group gameplay that you want to engage in. And it's for all types of players. FPS combat, racing, beacons, role play, eating burgers at Whammers, finding cool vistas. It should always be easy to find action, things to do, and people to play with. So I can create a party from a couple of friends. I can party launch into the game on the same shard. Then I can share my party with the party finder. And other people will want to join up. Now we're talking. But I'm curious, as we're going to get bigger shards, let's say that already, how will we improve communication? It's very much of a mess right now. Our chat's very bare bones. And voice comms, we never really know if they work. Well, let's chat about chats. So. We're adding options for you to customize the chat window, giving you the power to make the chat your own. We're also adding chat tabs. We're bringing back tabs. We're, we're bringing them back from other games. <laughs> and this means that you can set up customizable views filtered for any area of the game that you are interested in. And Ben. You had a UI team make a little mock-up of uh, some of the other functionality we're adding, right? I sure did. I also add, got them to add the combat login. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> How kind of you. <laughs> so first off, as we can see here, we're making slash commands actually useful. So no longer just chicken dancing and flexing. It's going to be able to help you send messages to party, to proximity chats with say and slash yell commands as well as sending DMs to other players. What the hell, Ben? You said Ooh. you were going to take Hey, you out. wanted a real example. <laughs> sure. Um, so another thing we're adding is that we're giving you the power to share information more easily via links. So first off, here we have contract links taking you to the contract manager for that specific contract. Cheesecake. Yes, cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, cheesecake is maybe better than Seno Fred's. Also, we are adding star map links. Let's have a look at what that looks like. This means that you can click the link, and it will take you to the exact location in the star map, <laughs> making it easy for you to group up. Another thing we're adding is item links, and well, You'll see why you want to link items in our Crafting Your Home presentation tomorrow. Lastly, we're adding player links to make it easy for you to connect your friends with one another. Right? Um, so while we're talking about comms, Sean just messaged us about Hoip. Do you want to invite him to the party? I uh, sure can, Gabe. We do need an expert to discuss VoIP and FOIP anyway. So you guys give us some air, remember hot mics, and let's invite Sean, master of faces Tracy, to join the party. <laughs> 